<laughs> Greetings, puny ones. It is I, Agatha Vile, mad scientist extraordinaire, and purveyor of fine crab experiments. As you may have heard, last year I kidnapped one Mr. David Gansel for a routine bit of torture. I just don't like bad puns, David Gansel. Ah, now I understand why you're mad at me. I am unfortunately 90% comprised of bad puns. You've been on my watch list for many years. Well, you know, it is nice to be noticed. I'm looking for new ways to torture David Gansel, and I think I found one. It appears that before he became the mediocre YouTuber we know him as of today, he made a whole bunch of even worse videos, real embarrassing old crap that he does not want you to see. So, what better way to torture him than to watch his old stuff? Let's look through some clips, shall we? I'm Ralph Whitaker, and Oh, look at the little dog. Look at that suit. Look, we finally found something bigger than his head. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, uh, how did he used to be even worse at green screening than he is now? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. This is just a crime against eyesight. Oh, uh, God. God, he made a Star Wars fan film? Ugh, that's just pathetic. Oh, great. A high school attempt at stand-up comedy. How original. Hi, hey, sweetheart. How are you? <laughs> How's Gettysburg? Is he just doing a Bob Newhart routine? Just taking another comedian's material? And people think I'm evil. Ugh, I can't look any further. But you should. You should see these videos that David Gensel does not want you to see. The only place to see them is patreon.com slash doggins. If you wish to further help me torture David Gensel, Patreon also has his podcasts, which includes episodes where his wife sits through the embarrassment as well, and she does not hold back. Good for you, honey. I hated this. <laughs> Let, let's just skip to that part now. What would you have thought uh, if you had known me in high school? Bye. <laughs> no. Turns out the wedding's off because I showed her a <laughs> bad fan film I made in 2005. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Watch this embarrassing old crap and listen to his wife chastise him for it only on patreon.com slash doggins. And you might be thinking, doesn't supporting him on Patreon help him instead of hurt him? And you'd be right. Unfortunately, David was in a car accident, which I did not cause. Honestly, I'm more creative than that. I'm not a billionaire tycoon who uses daddy's money. And although he's recovering, he still could use a little help. Let's be honest, I would never, ever, ever attack someone while they're down or injured. I'm more classy than that. I was raised better than to do that. So, let's make a deal, dear listeners. For less than the price of a cup of coffee a month, you can go and not only embarrass David Gansel, but you'd be supporting him as well. Once he's fully recovered, then I will attack him without him noticing. I've been working on a little project that can remove someone's head from their body. Now, they'll both be alive and they could both come back together. But did you know Cherry's favorite toy is a giant basketball? Well, it recently deflated because of her very sharp teeth. That's where the crab part of her comes in. And David's head is so perfect and large and round, she could play with it all day while I'm working. So, you went to see David Gansel play with puppies, sort of. <laughs> then you should go support him on patreon.com slash doggins. Please. It's the ethical thing to do. For just less than a cup of coffee per month, you too can enjoy the image of a screaming basketball head being rolled around on the haunted floors of a forest. Isn't that a nice thought? Also, screw the capitalism and insurance companies that are dragging him through the mud. That's my job. I'm the one who gets to torture him, not them. Once again, patreon.com slash doggins. Go now and embarrass this man. Stay tuned and we shall reap from these rewards.